There's inauguration day in New Jersey, and moments ago, Phil Murphy was sworn in as the state's 56th governor. Here's a live look inside the Patriots Theater at the War Memorial in Trenton, where today's events are taking place. Governor Murphy just took the oath, and now he's speaking with the crowd. As you can see, he was sworn in by state Supreme Court Justice Stuart Rabner. Also on hand, outgoing Governor Chris Christie and outgoing Lieutenant Governor Kim Guadano, the Republican Murphy beat in November's election. CBS News' Meg Baker joins us live from Old Bridge with reaction to this new era in New Jersey politics. Meg? Chris and Mary, we're at the Bridge, Bridgeway Diner here watching with patrons and the staff as Phil Murphy takes the stage as New Jersey's new governor, saying that he will take the state in a new direction. He was introduced by his four children and his wife. And here in the diner, I ask people, what are their hopes? What are their wants? What are their needs here in the Garden State? Take a listen. I, Philip Dunton Murphy, elected governor of the state of New Jersey, elected governor of the state of New Jersey, do solemnly promise and swear, do solemnly promise and swear, that I will support, that I will support, the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the state of New Jersey, and the Constitution of the state of New Jersey. Thank you, Steve. Most people I spoke to here at the Bridgeway Diner say they still don't know much about Phil Murphy, but know he's got a lot of work to do. The jury's still out, right? It's, I think it's too early to tell. A lot of times there's a lot of campaign promises. Top priority for most everyone we spoke to? Taxes. <laughs> hey, I hope he doesn't raise taxes, but with all the things that he promised, there's no way that he can't. When somebody warns you that they're going to raise taxes, you got to really hold on to your pocketbook. Murphy campaigned on more funding for public education, free college, money towards the public employee pension fund, and creating a state bank. Along with raising taxes, the governor-elect believes he'll find millions in state revenue by legalizing marijuana within his first 100 days in office. We're going to do this, and we're going to do it right, and we're going to protect our kids. In a major departure from Chris Christie, Murphy supports a sanctuary state to protect immigrants. Others I spoke to here in the diner say they, that Murphy has to make NJ Transit a top priority. They commute into New York every day and they've faced those delays that we've brought you last week and then the months before that. Others say Murphy really needs to make our Garden State more affordable to retire and stay here in retirement. We're live at the Bridgeway Diner in Old Bridge. Meg Baker, CBS 2 News. All right, Meg, thanks so much. And the inauguration event is streaming right now on our website. You can watch it at CBSNewYork.com.